boys, his father, the gentleman in there. He is a fifth generation trooper. See, the, uh, the big parts that come up that you always see go out when we're out there, they're called outriggers. And they actually help separate the, the nets. We carry two nets. Now, some boats are rigged to actually carry four nets. Two on each side of them. So that's a lot of nets to get tangled. The uh, wooden parts right there, they come off the door and they spread open and they hold the mouth of the net open. Like you'll see up here. You got two nets coming down off each side and the doors actually spread them and they help hold the mouth down. See, and then this part right here is called the mouth of your net. And these floats actually help. Some nets have a tongue on them. We have different nets depending on what species of shrimp we're going for like the white shrimp like we have now, they actually have tongues because what happens is when you scare them, they jump to the surface of the water. So that helps guide them into the net. So we have floats here, and then down here, you actually have a tickler chain that's separate from the door itself. So if you see a bunch of chain on the, on the boat, that's what that's for. And what happens is it just kind of does this on the bottom, and it scares the shrimp is what it does. And then right here, you have the throat of the net, and then that part right there, that metal grid you see up there, that's your turtle excluder. That's what we put in. Those nothing smaller or nothing larger than those bars can get past those bars. So large fish, conks, whatever else we might catch, they all hit that and then they come out the opening that's right there. But yeah, it's it's you don't do it for money, you do it for love. Like uh, we actually laugh. A lot of people say, well, you only work three, four months out of the year, we say, no, 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 we, we work the entire rest of the year at other jobs, so we can do that. <laughs> and every boat's set up differently. Every boat's set up differently. How so, many pounds do you bring in a day? You know, it depends. We brought in 10 pounds, and we brought in 3,000 pounds. It depends on the water, where you're at, what species is running, what the moon phase is doing, what, you know, the absolute cycles, the inches of the so you kind of have to take all that into account. Now usually when I see everybody trawling out here, it's uh, looks like it's in about 20 feet of water, 25 feet. Yeah, it's not very deep. Um, we keep it all separate. Now say you had squid in here, you catch... Actually, it'll come right up in these slips. If you come down at night, like uh, City Pier is really good about that, where they have the big lights at night, the squid will come right on up to the surface at night, usually about 9, 10 o'clock, something hmm. like that. So you can actually cast it for them. I, I, used to get them I used to get a lot of them.